What would you tell, we have mostly utilities and, and vendors in the audience, what would you tell other utilities? What do they need to do to court consumers like yourself? Wow. <laughs> hmm. Um, if there was more research done, um, I mean, if utilities had an idea of what systems worked and what systems cost, and they could give the information. I mean, it's really hard to find out good information about what things cost to put on. I mean, you, especially do-it-yourselfers. Um, you go to an installer, and he's going to come and say, my, my wind turbine today is $55,000 installed. I don't know anybody who can, who can pay that. I mean, there's not even a 25-year payback on that. You know? um, when I looked at uh, solar power four years ago, I was looking at $90,000 for an install system. You know, I'm, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, and most customers aren't. I mean, they're not going to spend that kind of money. Even $30,000, that's, that's difficult, you know. That you may spend $30,000 on a car, you know, but are you going to spend $30,000 to save $100 a month on your electricity? That's, they're not going to do that. Um, that's even saying you can save $100. So, Blue Bond has been so supportive. That's one thing that really makes a difference. If, if when you approach the utility with the idea of doing this, and they don't say, oh, well, you got to do this, 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 and there's a list that's four pages long, and every one of them is difficult, and then if they say, well, you got to go get an engineer or something like that, then they're going to be a lot less uh, willing to do it. Whereas at the same time, the utility has to protect themselves because the customer's putting in a system that's producing energy, and it may be feeding the energy back onto the grid. They have to be able to protect themselves also in case it's the wrong kind of energy. I mean, electricity is not just electricity. You know, there, there can be electricity that can be harmful to the utility. So what level of energy information do you want the utility to provide you? Right now, I have daily usage. And I would really like uh, hourly usage. That would, be, that would be really, really nice to know because then I could pinpoint when I had spikes in my usage, you know, and start looking at systems in my house, you know, in my residence that are using too much electricity. Uh, since we have so many people in the house, I have a, a commercial refrigerator. Uh, when the condenser gets dirty on it, it uses a lot more energy to keep our food cold. You know, if I could see that, hey, the refrigerator was running two hours ago, and I could get on the internet and look at my portal and see that, oh, I was using more electricity, then I know, hey, it's time to clean that condenser. And how important to you, based on what Dr. Kabukian was saying, how important to you is data privacy? Because you're clearly giving a lot of information onto the, onto the grid there. We're private citizens. I think that sums it all up. We really are, we're supposed to be private citizens. That means we have a right to our information. It's not anybody else's right to gain our information unless we allow them to have it. Uh, I was amazed when Congress passed the Privacy Act many years ago, yet the Privacy Act didn't do what it was intended to do because they came right back with the Freedom of Information Act. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> uh, it's very, very important that our private information, it's mine. You know? And I don't want people contacting me and saying, I want to sell you this, when I didn't go talking to them about that. That's why I don't have a, a landline home phone anymore. Because the only thing I got on that phone was solicitors. And they'd say, I want to sell you this. I'm like, I didn't call you. Goodbye. <laughs> you know, I mean, really, it's, it's, they're intruding on my time and my family. And the Internet's one of the worst things in the world for invasion of privacy. Because you get, I mean, if you go to a website, and that website collects your IP address, then the next thing you know, you're getting 
spam because they sold your IP address to someone else. And now they're sending advertisements to you. I didn't want that advertisement. You know, I don't want to be deleting 50, 60, 80 emails a day that I don't even want to look at. You know? So privacy is very, very important. It's, um, and I see it shrinking all the time. It's getting harder and harder to maintain your privacy. Now you have, you have three teenage children that live at home. Do you see them getting involved in energy conservation? And do you think, see that generation really getting as, as into it as you have? Um, I taught my son how to do CAD CAM. And he is uh, working with me on designing a new type of wind turbine. He's also working with me on uh, designing the tracking system that we're going to use when we go to solar panels. And he, he draws them up. And, CAD and then we take them out in the shopping building. So yes, they're very much involved. Um, and they also, they helped me, we went to a new type of uh, air conditioning system for their bedrooms. And we put in a high efficiency mini split system, which is real common in Europe and Mexico and other places. It's not very common in the United States. Uh, two things it does. One is, is uh, it uses inverter technology to reduce the energy load. I mean, it literally matches the compressor load and the fan loads to the heat load that it's working against. And so it really reduces the amount of energy used. Also, it reduces spikes. So because with inverter technology, you start the electric motors soft start instead of having that large inrush that, that almost all induction motors have. And they help me do all the inst installation on it. And uh, they're helping me. Uh, do some upgrades to our residence where we're uh, re-insulating and increasing the insulation and the R value in our house. And uh, I'm teaching them all these things as we go along. So I want to open up to any questions that you all have. I don't know how many times you get access to a consumer, but here's a obviously very enlightened consumer here. And I uh, wanted to see if anyone had any questions for him. Maybe even the Blue Bonnet people who I know have been supporting him for the past year. Okay, I look forward to it. <laughs> Thank you. She just said, Leslie just said that they're going to be adding hourly data to them by the summer, so. Hey, Victor, it's nice to meet you. I'm Aaron Dianker. Uh, Zach Derrich and I are the ones that helped design the Energy Engage product. Uh, and we're curious, how did you figure out that it was the video games and the computer usage uh, in your household to those are the areas you needed to uh, change your behavior around to see any sort of uh, efficiencies. I really started looking at how much our daily usage was. And when we were doing 35 or 40 or even 60 kilowatt hours in a day, I'm like, what can we do to cut it down? And I started looking at the constant draws that we had, uh, the constant usage of energy. And one of them was the computers and the video games. Um, the other one was lights, and we started looking at, at particularly looking hard at our light usage in the house. Um, space heaters, we just basically did away with space heaters. They're horrible. Um, and then again, we also looked at uh, upgrading our uh, hot water heaters, so that that was another thing. And so we've gone from an average without air conditioning of 30 to 40 to 50 kilowatt hours to more like 10 to 15 kilowatt hours a day. And that was just a matter of looking at the daily usage after eliminating those things one by one? Exactly. Okay. Yes. That's, that's, and really you just have to kind of, if you look at how you use your electricity, uh, you can go around your house and look and see, well, this here is using 100 watts. And 100 watts doesn't sound like much. But if you take 100 watts times 10 hours, that's a kilowatt hour. And each one of them adds up. So if you don't need that 100 watts, if you can replace it with something that uses 13 watts, you've, you've made a tremendous difference in your daily usage. And, and that's how I looked at, the whole, at my whole house, actually. Cool, thank you. Yes. Coming down with that. So, 
to my time. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. I, thank you. I really enjoyed hearing your remarks and uh, your comments about privacy really touched me, especially your concern, understandable that it is in fact shrinking and your, your concern for that. And I just want to assure you that while it may appear to be shrinking right now, uh, I really believe that uh, we're going to turn the tide. Privacy by design is taking down the, us down that road. I sometimes feel like too slowly. I feel like uh, David uh, versus Goliath, but we're trying to get rid of the verses, so we're, we're not going to slay Goliath. We're going to embrace him and bring him into the fold. And I really think if you give us a couple of years, we're going to turn this around, and I promise you, we will have stronger privacy. You don't have to worry about that. I, I appreciate that. I really enjoyed your talk. It was, it was very enlightening, and, and I didn't even know that there was an organization working toward that. I, I really didn't. Uh, you know, I, when the smart grid came out, when we actually started having, uh, I knew that they had smart meters and they were looking at my energy usage every day. I used to work with utilities, and I thought, well, you know, I don't know. But after I uh, met Natalie, and as I worked with, uh, with Blue Bonnet on some of the information, and, and all the people there, I was like, Nah, they're not gonna. I'm not gonna really worry about them. You know, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt, and and I think I made a good choice in that. Well, thank you all, and uh, I want to thank Vic again for coming in. I want you to just realize that this is the future of the consumer. You know, we're all gonna hopefully know as much about energy as he does. I hope I know a tenth of what he knows. Um, but if you want to talk to either of us afterwards, we'll be sticking around, and I know Dr. Kabukian will be here as well to talk about privacy. So thanks again. Thank you.